We're back, people, and today we're breaking out film on Justin Houston, one of the newest Miami Dolphins edge defenders. They signed three different guys. Obviously, they're decimated at the position. And, like, these are the types of signings, like, if they were made at the beginning of the year, you wouldn't think much of it. Depth guys, maybe guys who don't even make their roster. But at this point, they're going to play significant snaps in the playoffs games, and you're not going to find too many guys better. I do think Houston is the best of the bunch. He is the most true edge rusher. I'll get to, like, Bruce Irvin and I think, in a video later today. He's kind of a tweener, but... What they really need from that edge position, like, is not guys who are going to win a bunch of one-on-ones. Like, you're not going to find that. I think Houston is the most likely to win, like, a one-on-one. -on -one. He's got some savviness. He's obviously a veteran. He's about to turn 35. Had a long career. Uh, he even had a pretty good la year last year for the Ravens. He played, like, 180 snaps this year for the Panthers. He can win some one-on-ones, but first the Chiefs, what they do, did last time, they're going to create some simulated pressure with blitzes and stunts. Their edges just got to be disciplined with their rush lanes, not get too far upfield, allowing Mahomes to escape. And then I want to see solid work versus the run, which they're all solid run defenders, which is nice to see. And just overall, disciplined play across the board, and then maybe make one big time play. I'm just looking for one big time play out of these guys. I think Houston is the most likely to do it from just like a one-on-one. -on -one. Like this against Laramie Tunsil earlier on in the season, and just gets upfield, speed to power, good low, center of gravity. He understands how to mix up his footwork, hand placement, and then drive Tunsil into the back of the quarterback. That's all good stuff. Lots to like, I think, from Justin Houston's film. And you're not going to find too many better players, really, at this point in the season. It's not like he's going to come in and be great, but he's got to, you know, have this revenge game against the Chiefs because he's been most of his time earlier on in his, his career in Kansas City. From watching the snaps that he played this year, and obviously he doesn't have to play a ton, you just need enough out of him uh, for a, at least a game, maybe a little bit more, which is, I think, you know, good for these guys. Hopefully they come in fresh, make some big-time plays. He's solid versus the run. You really can't, like, try to block him with tight ends or fullbacks. He's going to set the edge. It's nice. They really do need some edge setters versus the Chiefs. I think they're going to try to establish the running game. Dolphins last time actually played pretty good coverage on the back end versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And it's really going to come down to, like, what Mahomes does with his legs, how he's able to create, give his receivers a little more time. But just really good job. He does a really good job with his pad level. He understands leverage. He does a great job with technique, staying square, wide base, getting low, extend with those hands at the point of attack, uh, stack and shed, uh, meeting those players, make those plays versus the run. That's exactly what I want to see from these guys. I'm not expecting them to win a ton one-on-one -on -one pass rushing. That's just not what you're going to get at this point in the season from guys off the street. But he is uh, probably the most capable in these areas. And I like how they added different types of edge rushers because they're all different body types, all different play styles. So it'll be fun to see how they fit in and end up playing versus uh, Mahomes. Houston did actually play versus the Dolphins earlier in the season. This ball comes out quick, so it's hard to like, I don't get too much of a C on this right, but you can see the hand usage right there versus Austin Jackson. He really understands like how to time everything up, get engaged, knock people off balance, open up their outside hip if that's the area he's attacking. He definitely gives the most chance, I think, in that area. I think, you know, looking at Irvin, I think you don't really want him like truly pass rushing off the edge, like working him on stunts and stuff like that. He's like more of the, you know, athlete hustle guy that you're going to want chasing after Mahomes. But I think Houston, when you get that one-on-one -on -one look, he does have a chance to make an impact. Look at the like the power in that low hand. Look at the placement of it in that armpit. Look at him create that space to absolutely winning this rep. It's just coming out super fast into the flat from Tua, so he doesn't have a chance to get there. But that's the type of stuff that you're looking for from these guys. And I think Houston, uh, he definitely had more in the tank than I expected because I remember, you know, watching him when I was younger, him for the Chiefs. He was definitely one of like the best edge rushers in the league for a few years there. So we'll see if he can hopefully bring some of that back just for like at least one game, give a little bit of a magical performance. Third and three situation on the backside of these runs, you know, running some inside zone there from the Lions. And he's just able to get across the tight end's face. Can't block him with tight ends and fullbacks. Like he does a decent job versus offensive tackles, but nothing crazy. But he will make some impact plays versus the runs when they do this stuff. Look at him cheat last second right before the snap, get over to be a head up with this tight end. So he's now able to get across good lateral quickness, recognize the play very fast, and then get involved in that tackle and then hold that to only a two yard gain on third and three. Those are the plays that you just want to see out of these guys. I'm looking for solid run defense really because that's like the pressure is going to come from the simulated looks it's really where it came last time like even though like chubb had a big strip sack and like a lot of those sacks they had in those games for the chiefs most of them were later like much came much later seconds wise compared to what they usually get sack wise so it's just 
about maintaining your rush lanes, good coverage on the back end, and not allowing Mahomes to escape the pocket. Some nice power here on the outside from Justin Houston. Just want to remind you, this is all from this season. So this was just earlier on, and I think he has to be released because the Carolina Panthers weren't doing too well. They even try to get a nice little chip on him. Look how he avoids this. He just has some veteran savvy to his game. He sees this guy taking like this outside release right here. Instead of trying to attack that outside half, he gives a little bit of a stab outside the frame of the, the tackle, and then just attacks him straight on able to reduce his surface area to not really get chipped and affected by it open up that left tackle force Gino to get rid of the ball and ends up turning into a two-yard loss could have easily got the sack so he definitely has some of this capability it's not like an every rep thing but he knows how to use that speed to power that leverage mixing up his footwork hand placement he will definitely win the low battle and hopefully he can keep up and uh, get after Patrick Mums. some more run defense this is just what you want to see making plays impact plays Beating a tight end again, but also is able to uh, just get involved, get across the face. They're trying to get down. He recognizes this stuff. He understands the situations. They're you know running these inside zone. He's not afraid uh, to get aggressive. He's not uh, like they have this guy just in case the zone, it's a zone read and he pulls. He just gets downhill, and makes a play at the line of scrimmage. These are important plays that uh, I think you know go unnoticed from players like that. And I just really that's what I'm looking for. Now their quality run stop. It's second and two, and he gets a nice little one yard loss. Nice little uh, different type of play here. Like he gets the initial hit, uh, not beating a tight end this time. He gets to they leave him unblocked down at the end of the line of scrimmage, and they're trying to kick him out with the the pulling guard. And he's able to you know drop that shoulder, get low, not get pushed here. He completely stonewalls this. This is great technique, really good job, and he stays square to the line of scrimmage, and able to maintain that power while being that low is very impressive. Guy works right into him, basically slows it all down, and then everyone's able to rally to it. That is perfect technique, good understanding of what offenses are trying to do. He's clearly a veteran, so hopefully he can come in and learn the playbook pretty quickly because that's going to be very key with some of these guys with how much they'll be able to play. Obviously, we're going to see a lot of Melvin Ingram, a lot of Ogba, but after that, I think it's going to be Houston, then Irvin, Malik Reed. You could see all five of them getting... I think they should rotate pretty heavily in this one to keep everyone fresh. This is how he does win most of his reps when he's pass rushing. Like I did see in the Ravens film, I'm just going to go over the Panthers film. He did get a lot of sacks on like just hustle plays or stunts, which I think is important. But just as like a true pass rusher, it was just like attacking that outside half and then using the power to either open him up to the inside or open up that outside uh, or open up the inside half of him. Just basically speed to power, get a feel of what this guy is leaning to leverage wise and then use it against him. He doesn't have like that same explosiveness he used to to win around on the edge with like bend and stuff. He understands his capabilities, get this guy to open up there and then they all kind of converge on Derek Carr. Uh, definitely has that power element to his game and he just does a good job of uh, engaging using those long arms, good length to him as well and then driving all just really like blends well and works well together for Houston. I do like to see these types of plays from the edge defenders clearly like identifying the play, expecting the boot, just seeing what they're doing pre-snap with the looks here and then thinking these guys are going to work out of the backfield. You know, they have an off-ball tight end, expect play action. He sees the running back work towards him right away. So he just adjusts that angle to get wide right away, knowing this guy's going to boot. This is stuff that you got to be aware of, especially when you're playing teams like the Chiefs too. Then get your hands up, knowing that ball's going to come out quick because you're coming in unblocked. Just good football intelligence, good awareness, understanding situations around you. That's all a plus from Houston's game. Last play that ranked down for Justin Houston, just getting out, making some good awareness plays in, into the flat. Out of like the 180. 80 snaps ish that he played these were like the most impactful he was not obviously not every play that he had was like perfect I don't think he had like too many like vast negative plays some of them were just uh pretty neutral like just not winning in like one-on-one -on -one. but I'm not expecting that from your edge guy we saw enough I think from him to see that he can do it at least more than the other guys they signed but just uh recognizing this guy going out quickly into the flat good feel for this play doesn't overcommit to it either, but then takes a good angle, makes a tackle out in space. 34, 35, about to turn 35, I believe. So uh, definitely a veteran. You only need him for at most one game, uh, or at most, you know, a few games, at least one game. And we'll see how it ends up playing out. Should be fun. Dolphins are decimated. If they can pull off a win, that would be pretty amazing because they're, I know people are kind of down right now from the, the last game, but they are very much in a bad spot just injury wise and if they're able to overcome that i think that'd be pretty special so if you guys know the video make sure like comes subscribe and i'll see you next time peace